So the history of cash converters started in Perth in Western Australia in 1984. The founder of cash converters is a chap by the name of Brian Cummings. Brian Cummings was originally in the bakery industry and uh, one of his next door neighbours happened to be a pawnbroker. And over a couple of years he noticed how significantly successful this business was. And uh, so Brian decided instead of getting up at four o'clock every morning to bake bread, he'd get into the uh, second hand dealing and pawnbroking business. So what he did was he got uh, seven stores together in uh, Western Australia and they operated effectively as independent pawnbrokers for a period of time until he developed the business model. Probably three or four years after that, uh, they branded into cash converters and uh, he then started selling franchises in Western Australia and then the balance of Australia. In fact, in a short period of 10 years, I think they managed to build over 100 stores in Australia. The history then moves on. Uh, started selling international licenses in around about uh, the early 1990s and that's where Peter Forshaw and myself came across Cash Converters. Cash Converters International is a listed entity on the Australian Stock Exchange and it has been for a number of years. The single largest shareholder in Cash Converters International is a company called Easy Corp. Easy Corp in turn is a NASDAQ listed company and they've just increased their shareholding to 41% in Cash Converters International. And this clearly gives the listed entity uh, a lot of uh, credence in terms of having international shareholders involved in the business. Easy Corp has over 1100 outlets, primarily in North America and Central America. So Cash Converters International now have around about 800 stores in 22 different countries around the world. The largest territories in the UK, uh, just over 200 stores, then followed by Australia, the effectively the home country of Cash Converters, with around about 170. Uh, France has uh, just over 100, and in Southern Africa here we have just under 100. <music>